God bless our president-elect and, and God speak to him and his appointees. It's, it's a very exciting time. He comes with a lot of burdens and a lot of responsibilities in the Arab and Muslim world and a lot of prayer. I think it would be a great idea for President Obama to go overseas and speak in Morocco. And you know what? While he's at it, he should go speak in Israel and he should go speak in Palestine. He should go to the West Bank and speak to the Palestinians. And he should yeah. make peace and conflict resolution a high priority of his administration. And he all very excited, and this is a we want to be part of history. I've been personally waiting for this for eight years from the disappointment of 2000. Long in this country without engaging the Arab community in a in a uh, politics and in our conversations about the Middle East, I, I think we're sorely in need of that kind of outreach, and I think it'd be very positive. Uh, great big fundraiser for Obama, and you're the person to talk to. I am actually and, I serve on his finance committee. Okay. President Obama, as a Midwesterner, middle-aged woman that has supported you with all her heart, I absolutely believe that Morocco is the country for you to go. And no Arabic at the airport. They say, where are you going? Go, I'm going to Detroit, inshallah. <laughs> inshallah, you're not going to Guantanamo. <laughs> it's still open, remember that. Not closed yet. <laughs> Superhero, like I want an Arab superhero, like Falafel Man or something. <laughs> but we can't have one. You know why? He would be 20 minutes late for every emergency. That's why. But like, where is the benefit? Right now, you have an Arab name, Muslim name. Here's the benefit. You are probably immune to identity theft. <laughs> I met years ago. It was uh, 10 years ago. The foreign minister of Morocco. Oh, that means the when I was uh, beginning in Congress, I had a chance to meet uh, the then Foreign Minister, Benissa, and he told me so much about Morocco, I wanted to visit Morocco, I've been uh, looking forward to an opportunity. And I think that uh, uh, Barack Obama should go to Morocco because Morocco is a crossroad between East and West. It's a friendly, progressive country, and... Um, uh, the, the kind of society that Obama should be wanting to promote in the world. Barack Obama has a tremendous problem of raising the American stature in the Muslim world again. And I can't think of a better country than Morocco. Uh, there certainly are many countries in the, in the Arab world in which he would be welcome. But I think that uh, Morocco has been a longtime friend of ours. Uh, and there's no reason why that shouldn't be the first country. I, I must confess, I already made a recommendation that his first trip be to India, which is the second largest Muslim country in the world. Because he could go to Morocco on his way back from India. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Tony Lake, I teach at Georgetown University and was a, a foreign policy advisor to uh, Barack Obama. Well, I think Morocco would be one of a number of places that would be very good to do such a speech, and it certainly is terribly important now uh, that early on in the administration that we have a president like Barack Obama who can reach out uh, to both Arabs and Muslims and Muslims around the world, uh, because that uh, is one of the most important uh, things that he can do early in an administration if we are going to have any hope, uh, not only of improving America's position but much more importantly, to restore an American diplomacy that can work for peace at a time like this. Uh, and not only are, are our relations with Morocco very important, but I'm sure he's going to welcome the advice of our friends uh, throughout the Middle East uh, on how to proceed now. This is a moment, I think, to not parse every word um, and, and every action, but to look at the bigger picture, just as we hope that the new administration will be looking at the larger picture for uh, Father Anthony Hughes, St. Mary Orthodox Church in Cambridge, Massachusetts. I can think yeah, of that's... many reasons for Morocco. Yeah. The openness of the society, the progressive government you have, uh, your allies and friends of all the free world, I think it's a great idea. Morocco is a beautiful place. I want to come. Arab Americans have a response.